Trucker. Getting back to y'all. Today we're gonna talk about what to expect when going to PDT orientation. The orientation is here held up. They got one in uh one second, let me drink some water. They have one in Porto, Oklahoma. And they have another one in uh, Blairsville, Pennsylvania. I went to the one in uh, Blairsville, Pennsylvania. Orientation, you go, you get a, a rental car, you can get a flight, a bus ticket. It's up to you and what will be more beneficial for you and what you bring in. So you get off, you get off your, your plane. Well, I caught a plane, so. I know for sure. Well, it's common sense with a rental car. You'll drive all the way to the place and turn it in the day of or the day before orientation. But I caught a flight from New Orleans Airport to somewhere in Pennsylvania. It was like an hour away from Blairsville. Blairsville is east of, uh, it's east of Pittsburgh. I can't remember the city that I caught the landed in. But anyways, you arrive. I arrived at the airport, and it's a fairway, a trailway bus, like a uh, what them bus called? One of them nice buses come pick you up and take you to. To the hotel. It's a Hampton Inn hotel. A pretty nice hotel, man. I was surprised, man. A pretty nice hotel. They feed you. Feed you three times a day. You can't beat it, man. So you arrive there on, I believe I got there on a Sunday. Orientation for Monday. Orientations a week, and then after that week, you decide. Well, if they feel uh, if you don't need to go with a trainer, because they do train you. And I gotta say, it's top of the line training in Blairsville. You will learn a lot. Just pay attention. They'll teach you a lot in Blairsville. Hands-on training. If you need to go with a trainer, you'll go with a one trainer for a week. It's basically you go with uh, local trainers. They were do local runs. Well, my trainer did. They got something to do OTR. But mostly you'll be with a, a local a local trainer for a week. And then you'll go with another one for a week. So you'll have two trainers to learn two different things. One to work on driving more and the other one to work on more securement type. For me, I went well, I went to train. I think if you got less than a year experience, they gonna put you through a week with a trainer for sure. But it's local, you in the hotel every day. So it's not that bad. My trainer was A1, man. He bought me breakfast most of, most of the mornings. Don't get donuts. Don't get donuts. But my trainer was cool, man. I liked my PDT training. He was cool, he taught me a lot. I learned a lot with PDT. I'm grateful, grateful. But yeah, after you done your two weeks with your two different trainers, your trainers, at the, at the end of each week, your trainer call back up to the main terminal where you start the orientation at to let them know how your process is doing. I think it's on, on a, I'm gonna say Friday, but I think it's on a Wednesday that they call and check up on you, see how you're doing. If you're doing really well with your first trainer, they give you, they give you, uh, you'll be ahead of the game. Cause if you got less than a year, you are gonna go on a secure with a securement trainer the next week. But like what I did, I did good my first week. Then I went to the securement trainer, and I was only with him for a day, and then I headed back to Blairsville to uh, eval and get my truck. So 
once you're done with your training, you're gonna come back, you're gonna get evaluated with the securement, drive in, do a road test, securement. They're gonna teach you everything you need to know, so you don't need to worry about the test. A lot of people stressing over. You don't need to worry about the test, it's not that bad. So you avail, once you pass, then get in line and wait on the truck. Right now, they currently got a lot of trucks available. Mostly 18s, 18 international, 19s, they got 20s. Most of the trainers gonna have 20s. But like I said, once you test out, for me, I waited, because they had to hold on trucks, so I waited a week, like two weeks to get a truck. Right now, they got a bunch of trucks out there, so you might not even wait three days for a truck. But once you test out with everything, and they feel you safe to go, you good, you pass, you're gonna go in the bay, do your security test, you're gonna take your road test, then you're gonna come in, get on the computer, and take like a, a, a worksheet test, multiple choice. Not, not bad, just gotta pay attention. And while you're at orientation, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on this, you get 700 a week. And then once you put your training, they go up. But I, you get 700 a week for orientation, which not bad, you're still making most of, making more than people that's on their own driving, so it's not that bad. And you start out, PGT is percentage, you start out. Sorry about that YouTube, that was my girl calling. Get back to it. I think I was talking about making 700 a week orientation. You're still making more than the average person driving on their own, so it's not bad. And they take care of you, man. They take good care of you. Before you leave out, if you got any questions, they'll answer it. Once you leave out, for safety reasons, they make you take pictures of your security for the first couple months to make sure you are safe and they do it to make sure they safe on the safe side for insurance purposes and things like that. But man, as long as you come there motivated, with good energy, you'll be good, man. It's not that bad. Training with PGT was amazing, man. I had no bad, no bad, no bad uh, thing to say about orientation at PGT. The training, it was pretty good. The only long time I had was waiting on the truck. And after I got my truck, I was good to go. They give you, it depends what you want to do, if you want to run, uh, run through the house. But they home, you home every weekend with PGT. So they gonna get you a load from up there in Pennsylvania. If you go to Pennsylvania, head it, head it towards your home, depending what day of the week it is. If you want to, keep running or go home, but you'll be home on the weekend for sure. You home every weekend, so. Like I said, 25%, it go up 27%, 28%. They do have lease purchase as well. Before you go lease purchase, you gotta, they wanna make sure you know you're doing good on the security and everything before they put you on your own, which is a good thing. You on, you'll be on top of the game when you need to go. If you decide to go lease purchase. But yeah, you do. Once you're on your own, send pictures of your securement. If you need anything, your trainer's gonna let you know you can call them for anything. But man, trucks are pretty good. Equipment, equipment is pretty good. Equipment is good, really. They get you. Once you uh, graduate and everything, they get you brand new chains, brand new binders. You get brand new everything. Then once you, another thing I forgot to mention, once you pass everything, common sense is, they gonna give you who your dispatch you gonna be. You gonna call them, call the safety guy, he gonna run through the safety, safety things, what you need to know. And you're on your own. Once you're on your own, you make it. I've been making a thousand a week at the taxes, so it's not bad. I'm 21 years old. Of course, you know a company take a chance 
on a 21 year old and it's a they train you so you don't gotta pay them nothing. you don't pay them nothing to train you so it's pretty man it's a win-win situation pgt i'm honestly glad i found pgt at first i was gonna go to melton and i'm glad i ended up at pgt I was at Melton, but I had a newborn, so I went back home and was about to go back to Melton. But I found PGT, called the recruiter, sounded pretty good. And everything they tell you on the phone, once you talk to the recruiter, is true. They ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing, they ain't gonna lie to you. I know a lot of recruiters lied to you, but it was 100%, man. But y'all know what it is. Y'all stay trucking. Stay flatbed and never get that big. That's my goddamn CB. But alright, you two, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Y'all stay up, my man.